Hey everybody! I'm excited to um, do some peptides. I just got some peptides and BPC it's from Peptide Sciences and TB500 and I'm gonna do them so you guys know how to do them and how I do them. Um, I'm not a doctor, a lot. Um, basically, I've kind of become my own doctor to do peptides on my own at home to help myself feel better, get better, right? It's all about healing. That's why I started this group, Healing Floxing, try to heal this myself, you know, with great doctors helping me throughout um, my journey. So I'm gonna get this bacteriostatic water into these vials, into this needle, and then into my body. So yeah, I'll uh, go through how to do it right now. So I'm gonna take this bacteriostatic water and I'm gonna mix it into the BPC vial and also the TB500 vial. So to keep things easy, my dosages are gonna be 10 units on this needle, right? So BPC 10 units on this needle is gonna be 250 micrograms. The TB500 is gonna be one milligram. That's a dose I do on a pretty much you know, daily basis. I cycle on, cycle off. So let's get them mixed. So I'm gonna take my mixing needle, my bacteriostatic water. It's sterile right now because the cap's on, okay? So I'm gonna pop the cap. Make sure not to touch the rubber after you pop it. It's still sterile. I'm gonna draw two and a half milliliters, okay? Two milliliters, two mLs are gonna go in my BPC vial. Half an mL is gonna go into my TB500. Both of the peptides are five milligrams. I calculated that dose by doing some crazy scientific math, but that's how it goes. All right, so flip the bottle, put the needle in, draw 2.5. Slow and steady. Try not to get too many bubbles. All right, 2.5. See it? It's kind of hard, but I'm at 2.5. All right, you slowly take the needle out of the bacteriostatic water. I always draw a little bit more than what I need. Tap the needle, get the air to the top. Just make sure it comes out. Yep, we're good. And then I just, just pull back the needle a little, little bit just to get some air into the needle because the peptides are vacuum sealed so they're actually gonna suck the needle in to the, um, into the vial. All right, so I'm gonna put my cat back on. Everything's gonna be sterile, okay? So don't like let your cat or dog grab the cat. <laughs> you wanna make sure everything's sterile. All right, so put the needle back into the cap, put this down. All right, BPC 157, we're gonna put two mLs in this bottle, right? So for every 10 units we're gonna inject into ourselves, it's gonna be 250 micrograms. So five milligram peptide, two mLs of bacteriostatic water, for every 10 units on your insulin, insulin syringe, it's 250 mics, okay? Cap's on it, still sterile, right? Pull the cap off. Back to your static water in the syringe. You're gonna put two mLs in here, okay? So you wanna push, well, so if you're gonna do this at home, which I don't advise, but I do it myself. If you are comfortable doing this, it's, it's totally fine. I mean, if, if you keep everything sterile and you do it um, in a safe and effective way, or at least have somebody show you, a nurse practitioner, a doctor, somebody, it, it's not that bad, right? So pull the cap off. I'm doing the BPC first because it takes two mLs of water, so it's easier for me to put the two mLs in and then leave just a half an mL in this syringe and then go to the TB500, right? So I'm just gonna flip this over on the side, slowly insert the needle, hold the plunger so it doesn't suck in. And then just get that bacteriostatic water in there. Right when it gets to a half, I'm gonna pull it out. 
So that leaves a half an ml of bacteriostatic water in the syringe. Boom. All right. Just take your BPC, stir it up, shake it up, make sure it's constituted. Do a couple of these guys, a couple back flips. Woo, so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> stir it up. Put it down. All right, move on to the next one. Cap back on the needle. TB500. These things work really well synergistically together. TB500, cap still on it, still sterile. Pop the cap. Oh, this one sucks to get off. Okay. Put the vial down. Pick up your needle with the bacteriostatic water. Pull the cap off. I always pull back just to grab a little air. See the air? Whoa, it's breathing. <laughs> so put a little air in there so it doesn't um, suck the bacteriostatic water in too fast. TB500. Tip it on its side, check the needle, hold the plunger on the needle. Let's do this again, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Just want to make sure that the powder is reconstituted so it's clear liquid, see? Cap goes back on the needle. Discar di just discard this needle. Don't throw it in the trash, put it in a coffee can so your trash guy doesn't bulk himself. I'm gonna be pissed at you for the rest of his life. <laughs> All right, both of these vials are reconstituted, okay? Now that they've been sitting out, I like to clean the top off with an alcohol swab. All right, so just, that's it, just like that. Just like that. All right. Now the fun part, sticking the needle in, okay? Stomach, right? Two inches away from the belly button, each side. Just imagine a circle around your belly button. Keep two inches away, okay? Just clean, clean yourself off with some alcohol swab, right? Let it air dry for a second. Take your needle. You're gonna draw 20 units, one milligram of TB500 at 10 units, and 250 micrograms of BPC at 10 units, giving you a total of 20 units to draw, okay? Doesn't matter which way, just BPC or TB500, doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm doing a BPC first, put the needle in, draw 10 units. This is slow, hold on. Sometimes it comes out really, really slow because this is a six millimeter, 31 gauge needle, so it's not very, very fast. All right. Just wanna get the air bubbles out, tap it a few times. All right, 10 units, TB500. I'm gonna draw up to the 20 mark. Once you get 20 units in your needle, you can have a little air bubble at the top from pulling. You just wanna tap your needle a few times. Make sure the air bubbles are out. That's it. Then you gotta pinch an inch, okay? You can pinch an inch, you can inject it. Make sure there's no air bubbles in the needle. You wanna do bevel up. All these needles have a 45 degree angle. Make sure you put, up, uh, put the numbers facing you or, or make sure you look at the bevel to make sure the bevel is facing up. So that's a bevel, right? So it's 45 degree angle. You wanna make sure that goes up, okay? So if the numbers are facing you, you're good. 
you just kind of pinch an inch on the side of your body, like get some fat, right? Make sure it's clean with an alcohol swab. And you're just gonna give yourself a little poke. That's it, and you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Have a good night, guys.